Okay, now for question number 22 from the October-November 2020 International GCSE Paper 2, Variant 1 from the Cambridge 0580 Extended Syllabus. This question here is uh, being requested for me to answer by one of the students um, in the comments in the channel. And this question is about algebraic fractions and simplifying algebraic fractions. Now, when you simplify algebraic fractions, the same principles apply as when you are simplifying normal fractions. So, for example, if I have a fraction, say, um, let's say we have a fraction 8 over 12, and we want to simplify this fraction. Okay, what we actually are doing when we're simplifying this fraction, maybe without thinking about it, is we're actually, first of all, factorizing the numerator and the denominator, so we are expressing this as a product of factors. So, for example, this would be, you could say, 2 times 2 times 2. That gives you 8. And you're expressing this also as a product of its factors, which would be 2 times 2 times 3. I guess 4 times 3. And then you're cancelling out the common factors. And you're left with your answer. Okay, you can think about this as you're taking out this, this is 4 times 2, and this is 4 times 3. Cancel out the highest common factor, you're left with 2 thirds. Okay, that's how you simplify a normal fraction. And that's exactly the same thing you must do when you are simplifying an algebraic fraction. You are, what you must do first is you must try to factorize a numerator. Now, when you factorize something like this, this will give you x as a common factor, and you're left with x minus 5 inside the bracket. That gives you x squared minus 5x. And when you factorize the denominator, first of all, you see there's a common factor of 2. So you take out that 2, and you're left with x squared minus 25. Now, some people might get stuck here and think, oh, hold on, nothing cancels out. And they might you know, say it can't be simplified. You can write it like this, write it like that. They're both the same. However, you, what you should notice here is you have what's called a difference of squares x squared and also 25 are both squared terms and you have a minus sign between them so this denominator is going to give you two times you have x plus 5 and x minus 5 this is a difference of squares which splits up to two brackets and one of them you have a plus one have the other one you have a minus and you have the square root of each term in these places so x plus 5 x minus 5 when you expand that you get x squared minus 25 so now we see there is a common factor of x minus 5. You can cancel it out. And you're left with x over 2 times x plus 5. You can write your answer like this. Or you can write your answer as x over 2x plus 10. Both of those are perfectly fine. If you leave your answer like this or like this, both of them are perfectly fine. Okay, You can write the denominator in this form or that form. And they're both correct. All right. So the key to answer this question is to factorize the numerator, factorize the denominator, and then cancel out common factors. When you factorize the denominator, be careful here. Here we have a difference of squares. Okay, So that fact factorizes further to x plus 5, x minus 5. And that's probably where some students might have got stuck on this question. Okay, So there's your answer to question number 22. Um, other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. The link will be there. The link for the um, topic of algebraic manipulation from GCSE work will be found in this playlist over here and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching and see you soon